to quote John McCain and Die Hard, welcome to the party, pal. Yeah, that's right. Joe Rogan, who two years ago <laughs> had said, and this is from the Daily Mail, Joe Rogan says he will never host Donald Trump on his podcast despite being asked multiple times because he is a existential threat to democracy itself. I'm not a Trump supporter in any way, shape, or form. And this little excerpt from the Daily Mail here says, I'm not a Trump supporter in any way, shape, or form. I have had the opportunity to have him on my show more than once, and I have said no every time. Fast forward two years later, Keep in mind, this article was back in 2022. Joe had Donald Trump on his podcast, and would you look at that? That was 10 days ago when that episode dropped. And this is just on YouTube. 45 million plus views. Now, you know, hell froze over, basically. Joe had Trump on his podcast. Well, just yesterday, uh, Joe was on with Elon Musk, and this dropped last night. The great and powerful Elon Musk, if it wasn't for him, we'd be fucked. He makes what I think is the most compelling case for Trump. You'll hear, and I agree with him every step of the way. For the record, Yes, this is an endorsement of Trump. Enjoy the podcast. So there you have it. In just two short years, Joe Rogan went from, I don't want him on my podcast. I'm not giving him a platform. He's an existential threat to democracy. To, yeah. I agree with everything Elon's saying about Trump. And yes, this is an endorsement of Donald Trump. So let's, let's hear Trump's reaction. He was at a rally last night in Pennsylvania, and uh, this was his reaction. Oh, wow. I have some more big news, Megan. I'm just getting this right now. So somebody that's very, very respected uh, asked me to do his show two weeks ago, and I said, why not? And to me, it's very big because he's... Uh, uh, the biggest there is, I guess, in that world by far. Somebody said the biggest beyond anybody in a long time. And his name is Joe Rogan, and he's never done this before. That's right. Joe Rogan has, to my recollection, not endorsed anybody for any political office before. He, he has stayed out of that realm. Besides interviewing people like J.D. Vance... Um, Trump himself, finally. I think he's might have even talked to Ron Paul. Maybe, possibly. I, I, I'd have to go back and in, into the archives of the number of episodes of the Joe, Ro Joe Rogan experience. But yeah, to my recollection, he hasn't endorsed anybody for political office before. And it just came over the wires that Joe Rogan just endorsed me. Is that good? Thank you, Joe. That's so nice. And he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. Now, is this going to move the needle one way or another, especially that he endorsed Trump last night? Nah, it's not. It's not really going to move the needle one way or another. However, Joe is not dumb. He's a very intelligent man. And one of the things that have been floated out there, people have been saying that if Kamala Harris gets elected, you may see some big, uh, you may see some big podcasters. You may see some, some people stifled, censored, not have their voices heard. Could that help happen to a Joe Rogan? Certainly it could. Could it happen to a Tim Pool? Certainly it could. 
Could it happen to the Daily Wire? Yeah. Could it happen to the Blaze? Yeah. It could happen to anybody. So all I can say, people, is regardless of who your favorite celebrity endorses, regardless of who you want to vote for, get out and vote. It's important. Even if you're in a deep red state, even if you're in a deep blue state, get out and vote. I casted my vote early, which is I've never done in my lifetime. I've always been a vote day of the election type of person, but I went out and I casted my vote early. So that's all I got right now, folks. Joe Rogan endorses Trump. What do you think? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.